Hi, welcome to Sugar Free. This is a special reading for the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, um, Monday the 30th of November 2020. Um, I saw in meditation this morning um, the vertical being treated to the horizontal. <laughs> basically yeah the horizontal being applied to the vertical and this is the nature of what we're moving into in December 2020 as we uh, travel towards the conjunction on the 21st winter solstice via the uh, new moon on the 14th so I thought I'd do a special reading concerning the application of the horizontal Aquarius to the uh, vertical Capricorn. Um, as I understand it, Saturn and Jupiter move into Aquarius for the first time in a very, 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 very long time on the 21st major stuff and this full moon lunar eclipse on the 30th of November kind of opens the, the stage for that to happen so let's see what we can see about this application of the horizontal to the vertical so the um, the kind of flat equality I don't mean flat in a bad way the equality of Aquarius um, brought to bear on the top-down hierarchical structure of um, Capricorn so let's see The moon itself is extraordinary. I was up in the night here in the south of England. It's all foggy. And uh, the full moon had lit the fog up within the trees. It was just a sight to see. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lovers in the reverse. There's an unwillingness to face up to the fact that um, it's not possible to have ABC without foregoing XYZ. That's the nature of the lovers card. It's the point in the tarot cycle number six quite early on when we realise that we're not going to be able to have everything we want. That if we want this, we forego that. It's here in the reverse. And, and I mean, this is um, this unwillingness to accept that truth is very uh, characteristic of the top down structures, um, the hierarchical power structures under which we've been living for so very long a time <laughs> whereby they want to um, be loved by the people and be elected by the people and be um, looked up to by the people and admired by the people and accepted as rulers by the people whilst at the same time um, creating the conditions that uh, enrich themselves at the expense of the people they want it both ways they want their cake and eat it and basically we are beginning to um, wake up in large numbers to the fact that that this is what's going on and you know they're being exposed as um, yeah wanting their cake and eat it yeah if you want people to vote for you treat us properly that's what it boils down to you cannot have it both ways. That's what we're coming in with. 
um, Lovers in the Reverse. In the middle of the reading, I've got five cards here, we have the Magician. How wonderful. Card number one. We also have the zero card on the table, but I'll come to that in due course. Um, so manifestation. <laughs> and it just strikes me that um, the French word manifestation um, means demonstration as in protest. I have never got this interpretation I had that idea about this card before about the magician card before here in the upright in the middle of the reading um in england i don't know about scotland and wales and northern ireland everything's everything's splitting off the united kingdom appears to be disintegrating into its uh, component parts separating into its component parts um but um in England, certainly at the moment, um, we have the Coronavirus 2020 Act, which makes it illegal for groups of more than two people to protest together. And this act went through really quickly and really quietly in the spring um, and is beginning to um, be used now to break up. Uh, public demonstrations so what I'm seeing in this and people didn't realize what was going through what I'm seeing in this card the magician is basically um, manifestation demonstration here we are what you gonna do about it <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm seeing in the middle of the card the real power of the mass um, you know, all the laws uh, can be passed in the world, but if they can't be enacted, they can't be policed and they can't be, um, uh, what would the word be, uh, brought to bear. It's not a word, it's a phrase, but if they can't be brought to bear, then they're toast. <laughs> um, Margaret Thatcher here in the UK finally lost her grip on power through the introduction, through the rebellion, through the refusal to go along with um, what was called the poll tax. It was uh, raising um, a tax to pay for local services uh, by the individual. Um, so a poll tax, like a head tax. And somebody, a very rich person paid exactly the same amount as a very poor person. And the injustice of this um, you know, there was no sliding scale. The injustice of it brought huge um, demonstrations out onto the street and it just, it toppled her. It does happen like that sometimes. So that's what I'm seeing in the middle of the reading. This is the power of Aquarius. Card number one. Um, the ineluctable, undeniable reality of the mass that's what i'm seeing here okay now between the lovers in the reverse and um the magician so lovers in the reverse here as the top-down hierarchies refusing to acknowledge that they cannot have their cake and eat it sitting between that and the uh, the mass of people uh, refusing <laughs> to accept this anymore is the devil very hard to let go very very difficult to let go of many aspects of this on both sides um where was i going with this yeah what's what's coming in what's opening the door that's opening uh, towards the end of this month with the winter solstice taking us into a new cycle and um, ushering in or well, not ushering in but um, as we move from this Capricorn energy to the Aquarius energy um, for those of us very invested not only financially but in terms of our lifestyles in terms of our attitudes in terms of how we see things how we see the world 
for those of us invested in how it is and how it has been and we all are to whatever extent what whatever extent of wokeness we might um believe ourselves to possess um we're all rooted there, there are certain givens certain assumptions that we can make uh, about the world and um with what's coming with these changes coming the more heavily invested you are in those assumptions about how things work the more shocking and disturbing what's coming in is is going to be basically so that's the devil as it pertains to the magician to the mass the devil as it pertains to um the uh wanting to have their cake and eat it top down uh hierarchical power structures they just won't want to let go they won't want to let go and i mean this is uh, the situation that we're going to come into and have to face full on certainly in the uk um as this winter goes on and we move into next year um because a weak leader um will cling to draconian power uh, a strong leader doesn't need to um, hold on to or let alone cling to or even enact draconian power they just don't need to because they are strong so we have here in the in the uk certainly um a kind of widening gulf between um the weakness of the uh the head of state basically and the um the situation kind of spinning out of control and there's like there's a gulf opening up and um the more uh, clearly the leader's weakness is demonstrated to themselves and to everyone around them and to the mass the magician um the more desperately those draconian powers are going to be clung on to um so that's what i'm seeing in the devil there now following on from the magician here we have the moon so we have doubt we have borrowed light we have things looking like they are one thing but actually being another because we're sort of in the dark but also also this is the moon itself this is the moon itself um you know with this um full moon lunar eclipse in gemini um there is attempt in this to trick and to raise doubts um to confuse to obfuscate to hide <laughs> to operate on an occult level occult meaning hidden from view uh, nothing more and nothing less <laughs> um and a certain amount of um instability and i would say even uh, perhaps sort of collective mental instability um this is mirroring on either side the devil on either side of the magician there the final card i have in this five card reading here is the fall in the upright so like it or not <laughs> uh we are moving into a new cycle and it's a deeply deeply new cycle um as i say uh, the application of the horizontal to oops sorry devil and lovers in the reverse to the vertical this is a completely different paradigm for us to live in we're all used to knowing our place whether we like it or not and um knowing our place uh makes for a life more or less uncomfortable depending on <laughs> what your place is but that whole paradigm of this one on the top and this one this one this one this one this one and then you've got your your your, your great unwashed at the bottom whose desire to get up the ladder kind of keeps the whole machine going and then you've got the people right at the top kind of manipulating how everything works and how everything looks in order to pretend to the people at the bottom that they have the opportunity to get up but really create the conditions where they will never get up <laughs> uh, 
that whole paradigm is is um leaving and uh we're going on a new journey <laughs> basically collectively we are going on a new journey and uh, we're going into unknown territory um this top-down paradigm was um put in place uh, culturally and politically um over what over you know several millennia ago um when the uh grazing nomads from the the Asian steppe moved into uh, the Mediterranean areas and into Europe and basically took over what were um, long established egalitarian structures based on um, the uh, understanding of life in a female paradigm um, whereby power was shared because it was understood that there was not one uh, particular um, center of power and um, the line of the female was kind of the line of um, inheritance. This was replaced and smashed up over a period of a few centuries, uh, several millennia ago and um, I do believe that uh, the system that was put in place after that previous uh, system was, was smashed up is now uh, beginning to unravel uh, under its own weight. You know, it happens, impermanence, nothing lasts forever. And we're, we're privileged to uh, be, <laughs> believe it or not, we're privileged to be at the start of this, to be here on earth at a time when we can see this uh, this change beginning to unfold and it's all good new journey new world new paradigm new cycle um you won't need much <laughs> look all he's got is that knapsack and it just strikes me i've been very puzzled for the last two nights i've dreamt about dogs not in any kind of major significant way um two nights ago i dreamt that i ran into someone i i, I bumped into someone who I hadn't seen for a very, very long time, a real person who had a dog with them. And um, last night I dreamt about uh, a dog I used to know uh, very well, dog of a very good friend of mine who's no longer with us um, a couple of decades ago. And oh, so it's like, why am I dreaming about dogs? There he is. There's the dog. Right. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave that there. And please like, please share, please subscribe, leave a comment if this resonates and um, or if it doesn't. And I'll see you again soon for another reading. Thank you for watching. Namaste.